Alright, all right, guys, I figured I'd do a video on my two gravid females I have this year. But real quick, I just wanted to show you my motley that finally came out of shed. She had a really bad shed last, last month, and she still had skin left over. So this month, you can see her stripe on her tail. This month, I kept her in a bin because I had her in a cage instead. I don't think it was moist enough, so I kept her in a bin, and I kept her nice and moist. You can see she keeps going further and back. I don't know if you can see because of the light, but I'll pull her out real quick. Which I got from Brian Weitzman at Basically Boas. She's just a regular Motley. Got a nice side stripe and nice tail stripe. But her shed came out perfect, and I was happy about that. She's a female I'm going to breed next year. But my two gravid females I have this year are in the big cages. I'll start off with my Monster Tail Hypo Jungle that I got from Jeff Roan. You can see that she has not eaten in, I want to say, two months. This is her. She was sold to me as a... She was sold to me as a jungle sibling and just a hypo, but I had a feeling she was a jungle. She didn't show any of the traits, but I had a feeling she was a jungle. And she produced jungle babies last season, so I know she is a jungle, but as you can see, she has not eaten in two months, maybe three months, and you can see how fat she is toward her, toward her tail there. You know, she's gotten some really, some girth there. She's probably my meanest snake. She, she'll, she'll bite me. And then she's, as you can see, she's coming at me right now. As you can see, she's coming at me right now. She strikes quite a bit. I had her out the other night and, uh, sitting next to my girlfriend and she struck at my face. My girlfriend my, freaked out. My girlfriend likes to hold my snakes too. But this is the one snake I don't let anyone hold. <laughs> She's just about the only snake that I hold on my on my own. And then I also have my Peter Cal albino that I got from Peter Cal that I bred with my hypo head albino. Um, he wasn't going to sell it to me, and uh, it was Christmas time, and I think he needed the money, so he sold me to her. Um, paid pretty good money for her. I want to say almost a grand. I'm not going to say exactly how much. But she is the granddaughter of the original albino, so. But you can see she has not eaten in three months, and you can see how fat she is. She's gotten fat right here. She's just, she's just gotten fat. She's gotten fatter. She's, she's a big baby. I can, I can touch her, do anything I want. I've had her since she was tiny, and held her probably the most out of all my snakes. But you can just see the, see the girth right there. You know, I mean, this is my hand. She's about six feet, but she is definitely gravid with my hypo head albino from Garrick Dumeyer. So she will have sun glows, albinos, and hypos that are all head albino. Now, on the flip side, the, I did breed the monster tail um, hypo head albino, or not head albino, just monster tail hypo, or hypo jungle with my hypo head albino it's actually the same male bred both of these females that I have in these cages he's the only male that I had this year ready well I had my annery head albino ready but he just he wouldn't breed and uh, I, I no matter what I did he just wouldn't breed and when I put I put the annery in with the hypo head albino in with her and he tried to fight to, to breed with her but the hypo just pushed him out of the way and was able to breed with her instead and I caught them locked up so he didn't get to breed this year he's at breeding size you know I could I was gonna try and breed her with the Motley but the Motley's just not big enough yet but yeah so I should have uh, two litters next year um, the way it should come out is I should have some uh, some super hypos uh, some super hypos, 50% head albino, all of them will be. Um, with this litter here, um, I'll have some jungles that are hypo head albino, some regular jungles. 
Actually, the, they actually they should all be hypo because it was hypo to hypo, so they'll all be hypo. And uh, maybe get some super hypos, maybe some super hypo jungles. Um, they're all 50% head albino. And then uh, I'll get some uh, I'll get some sun glows, some albinos. Half of them will be albino, and half of those will be sun glows. And then the other half will be normal head albino. So yeah, those are going to be my two litters. And then, uh, you know, of course, I've showed these guys over and over again. You know, these are the the product of these are the product of uh, these two here are the product of this female here. I shouldn't have probably bred her so soon, but I kind of power fed her. You can see a normal jungle with a hypo head. Had a, had a, a normal with a hypo jungle. Um, I still keep them together. I can separate them, but I keep them together. And uh, if they are male and female, I am going to separate them. I do have the room to, as you can see, I have empty slots. I don't know if you can see in the dark, but I have an empty slot here. And I have an empty slot here. And then... Uh, Here's the male that bred to both my females. He's a hypo head albino. I've had him since he was young. Um, he's got some decent color to him. I, I, his colors didn't quite come out the way I thought that they would. It's kind of more brownish than reddish, but, you know, what are you going to do? But he definitely is hypo, and he definitely is head albino. You know, I got him from Gary Kamir, and I do trust him at Royal Constrictor Designs. And then, here's my Annery that I also got from Garrick Demeyer at Royal Constrictor Designs. Um, but he just, he couldn't get the job done, and uh, I, I don't know. And for some reason, I don't know if anybody can make a comment on what it is but every time I hold him some white goo comes out and I don't know if it's sperm or what but there's this white goo that comes out of his where he would go to the bathroom out of his where his spurs are his butthole basically and it's like a white goo I don't know if it's his sperm if he's in he like and I, I just can't explain it every time I hold him it, it happens and it's it's like a sticky white goo I just basically you know, I, I just can't explain it. If anybody has any answers for me, please answer for me and write some comments because I don't know what it is. I just, I don't even want to hold them anymore because it just, it grosses me out. I just want to know what it is. And and, and, and I just, I'm clueless. I, I've never had a boa do that before. And I don't know if someone can give me an answer, I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate it. But thanks now that I gave you a vision of my kitchen to my apartment. But... And then I got my cage over there for my budgies. I, I recently started breeding budgies. I don't know why my girlfriend, she's into them. We got different color morph budgies. If people are into budgies, you know, we're, we're just starting to breed them. So um, we got our first eggs with a piebald sky blue and a, a type 2 yellow face. So... If anyone's interested in budgies, write some comments and let me know. I'll give you my email. Um, but, yeah, that's it. I'm out.